Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and today I'm going to show you the Korg SP280. Check out our website epianos.co.uk for more information about the range of Korg pianos. The 280 isn't the most basic model they make. It's got better speakers, it's a bit more bulbous at the back to fit in the speakers and it's got 88 weighted keys but they're graded. The bottom keys are heavier and the top keys are lighter so more like a real piano. They give you a really good feel and um, as a good choice of sounds and things. Come a bit closer and I'll take you through its main features that I've found for you. Okay, so as you see, the layout is very clear. We have 10 buttons in the middle of the instrument and each of those have a choice of bank one, two and three to give us variations on the sounds. Now the, the piano button is first and the first uh, choice is quite a mellow sound going to the third voice being quite bright. So let's go through my first sound, the mellow piano. It's a nice full sound. So nice rich piano sound, really lovely sound, nice key action to play it. If we go down to number two, it's a little bit brighter. So very uh, big rich sound, nice and bright. Third sound, a little bit bright is true. Um. So the beauty is, depending on what kind of music you're playing, you can vary the sound to suit the kind of style of your playing. Now the next pianos are um, more like electric grands. And a bit brighter too. Next one, Hog Dog. And the third sound. Then we're on to electric pianos. Now the electric pianos are going to give us like the Fender Road sound and the Wurlitzer electric piano sound. And they're quite punchy, but they also, some of them have a real um, sort of tremolo phaser effect. So when I play, we feel the sound is going between, between the two speakers. So the first one. And it's that fuzzy sound. When you press a bit harder. But softer. Second voice. And the third sound. And again that if we press harder. So it's very effective how much we press makes a difference to the sound. Can you hear that tremolo between the speakers? It's really effective when you're sitting here, the sound is panning. It's really nice. Okay, next one, electric piano number two. Next section is harpsichord. And we've also got um, a clavichord. So some fun stuff. 
stuff. Now the next section is um, vibes and guitars. So we've got. That's nice. And then we go on to uh, marimba. Got a guitar. This guitars is lovely. Let's press the right button. Okay. Now your organ sounds. First button is your jazz. and three so really diverse in their sounds number two organ sounds these are going to be more church organ sound number two One. And then final two button strings, these are big rich sounds. Two sweeps in. It's like a slow string effect because it comes in and builds up. And then finally the third sound. sound and then we've got the choir sounds and the final one. so it's a really nice selection of voices but we can mix two together so if I wanted to go back to my mellow piano and add it with my strings press them together combination where they just split together. We can have our guitar sound, we can go into our guitar sound and mix it with the choirs. So you can work out your own combinations but there's lots of choice there. And we can also go into how heavy the touch needs to be to get the the brighter sound so we've got a, a touch control with three variations and we can make it you've got to press really hard to get the sort of brightness of the sounds or we can set it very light touch so you you can just hit gently gently and get that effect coming through so depending on your style of playing and what piano you've been used to you can make it uh, suit your your own playing techniques we've got a brilliance control here that can make it much brighter or much mellower so I've got it on the the middle one at the moment we can make it a much shriller sound or a bit richer and bassier. The reverb is your echo uh, a bit like in a big church where you get the ambience of all the the echo around the building we can bring that into the voices and the chorus is that whoa 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 sort of the the pan in between the speakers to give you a, 
an even richer effect of the sounds and the way that they sort of warble as they come to you. So we've got various effects we can do. We've also got on here a transposed, which we can adjust to suit the, the actual pitch we want the instrument to come out of. So let's say we're playing and we've got someone singing with us. Maybe their voice uh, won't go high enough to the notes that your music is playing. So we can set the pitch down on the keyboard. So although we're playing these notes, it might come two or three semitones down and would suit the range of the voice of the person singing better. So transpose can take you um, half an octave either way to suit the range of the, the person who's singing. Or I often use that for playing along with a, uh, a backing track. And if I want to make my key more suitable to the key that I want to join in with, you can transpose the notes down to match the key that you want to play with the key of the music. So there's some great features that are built in. There's also 30 songs that you can play back just to hear its capabilities. And that's on the piano song button. Uh, and finally, we've got a metronome on the end here. The metronome can be used to tick away in the background at the speed we want, how many quadrants per minute. Uh, and that gives us something to, to set our timing to, to make sure that we're accurate with the speed all the way through the song. And we can play it exactly how the music might be written with a, a little crotchet beat on the music. So all in all, a great piano. I found it really nice uh, playing wise. The key action is, is really, really good to play. And we've got the variations on the touch and the brilliance to suit our personal tastes as well. 88 keys, the same as a grand piano. Uh, they're all weighted. They're even heavier at the bottom and a little bit lighter at the top to, to be the same as a real piano. So you get the same, the same feel, which what it's all about. And really good value. It's a great, well-priced instrument with enough features to keep you occupied without too many to be confusing. Now, my first favourite feature of this instrument is it does feel really much like a real piano. And that's basically because the speakers are a little bit bigger in the back here to make them uh, bigger and such a big sound. And I'm playing it at half volume. If I go too much higher, it will distort when you play it back through your... Um, speakers on your computer because it, it is a powerful sound. If I play and give you an idea. good sound, really realistic, and that key action is really nice to play. So that's my first feature I love. Now the second feature I love about this instrument is the way that you can just very easily mix two sounds together. So if I wanted piano and strings together, I can press the piano button and the string button together. big rich sound and um, by mixing two together you get the combination and it's really effective and it's, it's very different to what you can do with a real piano because you don't have those extra voices to mix and that's where the digital piano market makes it more interesting and more fun. The next feature I love about this instrument is its built-in stand. The stands come with it in the box. It's very simple, it's just four legs and some support arms but they literally just screw into the bottom of the instrument and it makes it secure and you haven't got to go and buy another stand to go with it. Uh, it's not like a bulky piece of furniture. It's just literally these four uh, metal legs. And I love that feature about it. And the next feature I love about this instrument is the foot pedal. The foot pedal that comes with it is actually a solid overall uh, foot pedal. And it's not just one of these ones that kick around the floor. It's a proper, uh, a proper pedal. Now, you know, these normally cost £30 or so. So that's built in with it. And you're not going to have all the problems with it kicking around the floor. Um, like you do with some of the cheaper pedals. So the, the proper cork pedal makes a big difference at this price point. So I think my only criticism, if I wanted to make one, would be the weight of the instrument. It's 19 kilos. Uh, it's quite a heavy instrument to move around. Saying that, you're probably going to leave it in one place most of the time. Unless you're buying it to go out gigging with, then it's uh, an instrument that you're probably going to leave in one place. The built-in stand makes it great value, and it's a lovely instrument to play. So I would recommend the SP280. It's got a very rich sound. It's got a lovely keyboard action, 30 voices to choose from, and you've got all the transpose and the, the things that you can adjust if you want to go into that um, on the keyboard. 
um, but it's been great, great fun to play and I've enjoyed it. I hope you found this video useful. Do come back to us if you need more information.